today I'm a pastor. Because a pastor dealt with the situation God's way. I need to close. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm done. I promise you no more anymore. And so Jesus gave them a parable about the man who forgave two of his debtors. And Jesus asked Simon, which one would love him more? He said, I presume that means it lacks certainty that it's the one who was forgiven most. And Jesus said, that this woman was a sinner but she is forgiving verse 48 says and he said unto her thy sins are forgiven but for emphasis just quickly verse 38 and she stood at his feet behind him weeping Watch her position. Let's learn from the woman. When she got there, she did not get in front of Jesus. When she got there, she did not get beside Jesus. When she got there, she got behind Jesus. Or oh, you miss the context. The context, women should never gather where men gathered. Women had no voice nor vote in the councils of men. As a matter of fact, at this board meeting, women had no office. Only men were large and in charge. Only men were invited. But this woman needed no human invitation. Because when she heard that Jesus was inside, that was all the invitation that she needed. Jesus is all that she needs. So she got inside and she got behind Jesus sending a message to the men in there in order to get to me. Hello somebody. You must go through Jesus. And I am here to tell somebody today safety is certain behind Jesus. Let me tell you young man, I don't know about your addiction and problem but I want you to know that victory awaits you behind Jesus. Let me tell you young lady, I don't know if you're abused and you're neglected but assurance is behind Jesus. Life exists behind Jesus and there is room for it body behind Jesus. Oh, I wish I had a church today. And I want you to understand, uh, despite what you are going through, despite what anybody say about you, when you are behind Jesus, he becomes your defender. When you are behind Jesus, he becomes your protector. When you are behind Jesus, uh, no weapon form against thee shall prosper. And I am inviting us today to make our way for there is room behind Jesus. Look who showed up today. There is room behind Jesus. I promised you that I promised you that we were just one final passage. One final passage. Luke 13. Luke 13. Watch sin. Sin, sin is tamed and controlled when you're behind Jesus. I could imagine, just indulge me for a moment. I could imagine that somebody was, was shouting at her, you sinful prostitute, you wicked whore, you, you wicked woman. And they were, they, were, they, were, they were bringing railing accusations against her of her past life. And she was so broken. I, I could imagine, I could imagine somebody stood with the church manual and said, women are not permitted to be elders and pastors. You have no room here. But this woman did not respond to them. This woman got behind Jesus. She was so broken by what were being said about her and to her that she's now crouching at the feet of Jesus. Hurt 
by the words hurled at her, tears began to flow. Have you ever experienced a pain so severe that words cannot uh, express and all you can do is to cry? This woman was there, but she did not allow her tears to go to waste. She, Almighty God, thank you, Jesus. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Jesus permitted all the attacks so that she could get down lower. So that she could minister from a position of her humility, from her humiliation. Oh, you're not with me. What am I trying to tell you? All things work together for good. Let me tell you the very, what if, what if, what if, what if the traumas, what if, the gossips, what if, the backbiting, what if, the pain permitted by God to get you to a place of brokenness so you could offer true worship because true worship can only be offered from a place of brokenness mighty God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus